Welcome to my channel. Today we're making shredded chicken tacos. Some onion powder. And we're gonna put some paprika powder. We're gonna put it on the on the table, excuse me, on the on the uh, plate because we are going to plate it properly. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Put some cumin on it. And come on, cumin. Come on, cumin. There we go. Now we're going to do it like this. This is how I, you know, I've seen other people do it a little bit differently, but when you put it on this way, I think it's just a little bit more even. You know, you can do your salt from high up, and when you do it from high up, then it kind of covers the meat better. But when you have all these different powders, if you can make a mixture and then roll your meat into the mixture, I think it just, it covers it better. That's a tablespoon. Now we're gonna take our meat and put it into the pot. I wanna make sure that it's covered in the butter. So, forgive the fingers, but hey, this is a homemade meal. It's only for me. Okay, green bell peppers, red bell peppers. Yum. I am going to remove the chicken so that it doesn't take away some of my flavoring. And I'm gonna add my chicken broth. Mm -hmm. One and a quarter. Now I'm gonna use my wooden spoon and I'm going to gently rub the bottom of the Instapot making sure that everything has been pulled off of the bottom. I do not want any of this to create an error on the Instapot. If it does, then the whole process is stopped and then I don't know how long it's been cooking for in the Instant Pot. Unless you're, you know, have eyeballs on it. I don't wanna do that necessarily. Instapot, man, I'd use the Instapot with a, for a ton of things. For rice, for beans, um, for beef. If you haven't seen it already, check out my uh, beef ribs. Woo, those are really good. They came out spectacular. Barbecue beef ribs. All right, I think that one is, that's done. Hop on. Look at the, uh, close that. Make sure that's on ceiling. And then we are going to make this poultry. There we go. It says 15 minutes automatically. I'm gonna bring that down to 10. All right, we sit and we wait. There is some salt in the water, in the broth, but we're gonna add a pinch more. Pinch! Maybe two. Pinch! You wanna make sure you're salted, but you don't wanna over salt. Seal and five minutes. We've let the rice release. So good, looks so good. Now we're gonna go ahead and shred this chicken. Look at this beautiful chicken. Oh, so beautiful. Welcome to taco meat. And now all that is left is to plate these beautiful wraps of Mexican history. That's right. So the difference between a taco and a burrito is that the taco is a burrito that's open-faced. That's it. If 
you're enjoying my recipes, please don't forget to like, to share, to tell your friends about this amazing channel. It is my pleasure to bring these recipes into your home. Thank you so much.